Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. We're here with Ben James. He's a spokesperson for First Friday Art Walks here in Bangor. It's a really exciting event coming up this Friday and every month in Bangor. Ben, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's great to be here. I'm excited to talk about the Art Walks. It's really a great thing that's happening in the town. Yeah, I know. I, I love it. It's really a cultural and community event. You want to explain what people can expect if they've never been? Well, it's a walk around the town with different locations that are involved. Um, you can find the flyer by going to our Instagram account, which is uh, Bangor First Fridays Art Walk, all with, all with in, uh, underscores between the words. Yeah. And uh, you can find out who's who's where, but we have different art openings. We have photography. We have fan fantasy maps. We have different locations just doing different things, and it goes on from 4 to 7. Yeah, and we were talking earlier. It seems like if you are somebody who shops downtown, um, don't worry because you're still going to see new things if you go on Friday. There's going to be openings. Right, absolutely. Like at Red Rabbit, right? Red Rabbit is hosting Matt King as their opening art show this week or this, this, uh, this first Friday. Friday. Yeah, yep. thank you. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, so all Who, sorts of new stuff. Who's taking part in this? I imagine it gives uh, local artists a great way to get their work out in front of the public. Right. Um, we have a lot of artists. We have um, an artist named Darren Rocket who's showing their abstract art over at the stage door mm -hmm. next to the Penobscot Theater. We mm -hmm. have photographers involved who are showing different styles of photography at Rock and Art and at there's also some photography at the library. The library's going to be involved. They've got lots mm -hmm. of different artists there, and you can see them on their website, too. Cool. Can you buy the art, too? Oh, it's, I all, I, I it's mean, all for sale. I think it's all for sale. I, unless, unless otherwise marked, it would yeah. all be for sale, yes. Yeah. So this is, I mean, you're part of an organization with Bangor, too, right? Right, Downtown Bangor Partnership, yes. And, and this is something that goes on every month, so it's different every month. If mm -hmm. you went last month, there's going to be something new this month, too, right? right? We, have an, we even have new locations this month that we didn't have last month, and we're hoping to build on that further and further. New locations, new artists, just show everybody's work and showcase all of the businesses. Right, and it's important to support these things. We were also talking right before that, that Downtown Bangor Partnership. You guys may be working with them more in the future, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're going to start managing the Facebook events pages and they're going to start advertising our, our flyers and our events. Oh, that's good news. Mm. Yeah. But okay, so right now, if you do want a map to see who's where, you should get on their Instagram or You or can Facebook. get on the Instagram. The map is not available until probably later today. Okay. Because I have to go collect that from Joanne Holson, who's making it. <laughs> yes. um, her gallery is involved as well. Yeah. She'll be in the art walk, so there's, you can expect that. Um, in, in my experience, some of the best community events are these ones that are organized by just a handful of people. And sometimes you can't get all the information immediately a week ahead. There's not a huge marketing team. It's just a team trying to figure out what they can. And, and, yeah. and there's just, you know, it's in yeah. a couple days. Absolutely. You know, we put out flyers, and sometimes the flyers don't have everybody on it, but it's like we have to get the flyers out. Yeah. Right. Because it's yeah. it's impending, you know, the, the right. first Friday is coming and we need to get something out there. And what, this supports local artists. That's what I was yeah. going to say. What a great thing, though. It, it not only supports local artists, but it's, it just kind of shows what a thriving art scene we have here in Bangor. Right. And there's the Bangor Art Society, too, which is a 150-year-old mm -hmm. society, which I'm involved, I'm on the board of. And that's where I pull artists from initially when I need an artist to connect with a venue. And then I'll reach out to friends or other friends of friends and see what I can make happen. Yeah. yeah. So you know a lot of local artists, I do. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, a wealth of knowledge. All right, Ben, it looks like we're running out of time, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Of course.